Hey everyone, and welcome back to another post from r slash ask reddit, a subreddit where anyone can ask a question and the most popular answers get upvoted to the top. Today's question, what do you regret finding out? My mom was 14 when she met my dad. He was 24. My mom is 56, I'm 28, and her husband is a 37-year-old guy that dated me when I was 14 and he was 23. He was the pastor's son, so my parents, despite them being super strict, would let me go hang out with the guy, and I thought he was so cool because he was older, he had a car, and all that. Looking back, I have realized just how creepy he was. When my mom told me they were dating, I begged her not to, told her about how we had messed around a long time ago. Then she decided to go and marry the mother effer. I didn't go to the wedding, but me and my mom are on good terms now. The worst part is that my two kids love him and call him Papa, and he's barely older than me or my husband. I wish every day they would get a divorce. My mother died in a car accident when I was three. I found out from a newspaper article years later that it was her fault. She wasn't paying attention and crossed the yellow line and ended both her life and that of the person in the other car. Same happened to me, although it wasn't my mom, it was my grandpa. He died in 1955 and neither my dad or I ever knew the circumstances. I found out from an old newspaper article that he was drinking and driving. Although it wasn't illegal then or even looked down upon, I hate this feeling of disappointment and I wish my dad didn't find out either. That my best friend took her own life. She told me she was moving and gave me all her stuff because she said she had a furnished room where she was going. I hadn't heard from her in a while and she never answered my text, so I looked up her name to see if she had an accident. No, it was suicide. The kicker is she had talked me out of it back in 2014, and I wasn't able to be there for her. You cannot blame yourself because it seems that she knew how to keep her plan secret. You can live your life to the fullest and remember her and your good times. She is with you. Look for the little signs. She'll be happy to see you smile. That my mother knew she had cancer a year before she told anyone, or rather, a year before she was diagnosed, after I literally forced her to see a doctor for her then extremely distended stomach. I was under the impression that we told each other absolutely everything, because up until that point, we did. I found out the truth a month after she died when I requested all of her cancer-related paperwork from the oncologist. My mother found out she had lung disease, not cancer, an autoimmune thing, and she had about seven years to live. She just all of a sudden quit smoking. It wasn't caused by smoking, but quitting would extend her life. Several years later, she just said, oh, I have this lung issue, but they don't really know what it comes from. She was very elusive because I'm a nurse and she didn't want me to research her disease and find out she was dying. The last year of her life, she was on oxygen. I knew she was sick, but not that she was dying. Nobody did. I knew the time was near, but I thought I had a few more years. She ended up in the hospital, got pneumonia, and died a few days later with me at her side. She knew I would be an absolute wreck if I knew for all those years, so she tried to protect me from that. As I sat at her bedside when she was really sick, I knew she was worried about me. She was dying and worried about me. I told her through tears that it was okay to die. I, I couldn't get out the words completely. I just said, you are really suffering, aren't you? And she nodded yes. I said, it's okay. I will be okay. It's okay to... It's okay. I'll be fine. It's okay to... I couldn't even say it. But she knew what I was saying. She just nodded yes. I don't know if I wish I knew or not. That my younger sister has a high rank in a local BDSM club. You know, about that dickfish and the Amazons. 
If it makes you feel better, there are no confirmed cases of it swimming into anyone's dick. My dad informed me when I got back from Iraq that I was the reason he and my mother got a divorce. I never really wanted to join the military anyways, and it effed me up big time. They had financial troubles, and my mom sent me care packages quite a lot. Apparently, that put them into bankruptcy, and if I hadn't joined, it wouldn't have happened. I just wanted to get out of that house because it was like I didn't exist. Jesus Christ, what was she putting in them to make them cost so much? Cigarettes, socks, dip. Really nothing major. We were a poor family and already in deep debt, apparently. And that wasn't your fault. He's projecting other issues they had into you going into the military and causing the divorce. Sending care packages to your child, poor or not, is not a reason to divorce. It's the icing on an already messed up cake. Mom telling me on a regular basis when depressed that she wishes she would fall asleep and never wake up. Don't tell a six-year-old this. Damn. I didn't meet my dad until I was 15. It was in secret since my mother wanted nothing to do with him. Within the first three sentences exchanged, he felt the need to tell me that I was conceived on a beach in July during the last time they had sex. I was the product of a going away screw in a relationship doomed before my conception. He followed it up with, we were good at two things, me and your mom, fighting and screwing. Unfortunately, we were fighting more than we were screwing, so it stopped being worth it. Ten years later, and this is still how I get my family history. I found out my ex is with a guy who is where I wanted to be in my life five years ago. I found out my girlfriend told my parents I was extremely suicidal, and they responded with, So? What do you want us to do about that? And they never brought it up again. A few months later, they kicked me out for textbook depression. I found out my mom cashed out my U plan, a program that froze college tuition prices for me at a cost of 1991 pricing that my grandmother set up and put money in. She used the 25K to pay off IRS from problems she incurred during her drug addiction. I'm a rape baby. Ditto. It doesn't subtract from your worth. When I was about 14, my mom took me to a tattoo shop to get her nipples pierced. While the procedure was happening, she turned to me and said, Your dad bites harder than that! I could have lived without that info. It's something that my parents regret. Not telling my brother at an earlier age, he's adopted. My brother was adopted, and he was told from the moment he could understand that he had a different mom when he was born, but she couldn't look after him, so he came to us. As he got older, more info was supplied, but there was never a moment he was told, he just kind of always knew. I remember when he was about 10, he was in the pool with my dad, and he said, does that mean I was adopted? And my dad said yes. My adopted brother says, well, then you're not my real dad and can't tell me what to do. My dad, bless him, replies, I have a will. If I die, it says this house and everything I own will be divided up and given to my kids. Every kid gets the same amount and you are named as one of those kids. My adopted brother never raised the issue again. That my ex-wife screwed my best friend just after we separated and while I was drowning in depression. I found out my father figure, my mom's boyfriend, is sexually attracted to me, even more so since I gave birth. That my father cheated on my mother on a regular basis. I discovered he even went in an orgy while with my mom which is not a cool thing to learn when you're 15 and you don't know if your mother knows or not. That my grandmother's fiance is a convicted pedophile. She doesn't care and has moved in with him. He was a teacher at a middle school and sexually abused and violently assaulted 
three handicapped children. And my former best friend was really only friends with me because I drove his drunk ass around and because he wanted to get into my pants. I found my brother's girlfriend's not safe for work Reddit account. It's supposed to be a couple's account, so you might guess the horrors I saw in there. About my mom screwing her cousin, I woke up in the middle of the night hearing her say his name. Ugh, it's haunting. After we broke up, I found out my ex had been online looking for a sugar daddy only three months into our 12-month relationship. I thought the whole time she was genuine. Turns out most of the time, she was lying to my face. She broke up with me and started screwing her sugar daddy she had found two months before she dumped me. That I am possibly inbred. My dad had a kid with his first cousin, and the kid had Down syndrome and a hole in his heart. Sweet as can be and really good at video games. Apparently that was a little common on my dad's side, so it's possible I'm slightly inbred. Learning from my sister that my father told her that my mom's mom was not paralyzed from the waist down because she fell off a fence. It was because she was beaten so badly by the man she was seeing at the time. That my mother doesn't actually care for me, but uses me as material to show off how much of a good mother she is and denies it by buttering me up to be more grateful about my life really hurts. I always blame my best friend's erratic behavior on mental health issues until one day I found her passed out on my toilet and realized that her behavior always got erratic after her bathroom visits. Unfortunately, she may have mental health issues, but an addiction to certain drugs was the main reason for most of her behavior. Just how close my polonidal cyst, a hole that forms where your tail was as a fetus, was to making contact with my spine. I had an open wound for a year because the first surgeon was an effing joke and it ripped immediately and he told me to take sit baths to help it close up naturally. By the time 11 months later I got the second surgery, it was apparently only millimeters from tunneling to my spine, which could have caused me infection or even death. I wish I never knew how close it was, because I am terrified it's still tunneling on the inside even though it's completely closed now on the outside. Just how disgusting of a human being I was and am. When I was a kid, I knew nothing. My mom is a single mother and she didn't take proper care of me. I took showers once a week or even less. I was messy. I was ugly. It was bad all around. Other kids called me names, avoided me, bullied me. I never knew why. Once I grew up, I realized just how bad it actually was. Today I'm aware of two things, where my childhood went wrong, and that in 10 years, I'll realize all the wrong things I am today. Well, this sure wasn't a comment I'd expected to explode. I wanna add some things here. My mother had her hands way too full. Our father died at the worst time possible. We were poor. She had my sister to push to faculty and me to elementary school. I don't blame her for what happened, and things are different today. I don't feel shame or pity for what I went through. There were far worse things that happened to me. The thing is, when I look back, sometimes I think I was happier when I wasn't old enough to understand. So please, don't pity me. Life is better than it was before. And most importantly, now it's only in my hands. The real reason why half of my dad's side of the family doesn't speak to us. We, meaning my twin and I, were always told it was that they just weren't that close and always had some mental health issues, but we learned after my dad died, the truth. Because no one on his side of the family came to the funeral. They opted to have their own. Turns out, 
that my parents had trouble conceiving. This I knew. I also know me and my twin are IVF babies, and we were born very premature. I'm talking one pound baby premature. Shortly after, my mom developed breast cancer. What I didn't know was that during this time, my dad was also taking care of his sick mother, as well as looking after his sick wife and two newborn preemies. He ended up asking his brother to help look after their mother, since he'd been the one doing it so he could care for his family more. Well, soon after my dad spent more time with us, versus his mom, she took a turn for the worst and died. And my father's brother blamed him for abandoning the family and blamed my twin and I for the death of our grandmother. Because if we weren't born, my mother wouldn't have gotten estrogen positive breast cancer and also they were all very Catholic and IVF was a sin. I never met my grandmother. I'm even named for her, but apparently an entire side of the family thinks it's mine and my sister's fault. She's dead. So that wraps up today's post. There are some really heavy stories here. Oh man, they just like kind of like make you sick kind of, right? Do you have anything that you regret finding out that you're willing to share with us? We would love to hear them in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like or a comment. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash askreddit and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and for listening.